Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again. I uh, hope you've had a wonderful week. Mine's been going pretty well. Kind of can't wait until it's over. <laughs> anyway, um, not really a set plan for today. I'm getting, as usual, ready to go take care of a few things, as always. And um, I've kind of collected a few items here and there. And I figured I would take some time to talk to you guys about them. And also, I'm going to do my makeup at the same time. Hence, you see, I'm not on my face. First item up is the Natasha the Silk Canvas uh, Primer. Now, this is, I have been using it, so this is not a first impression. I've been using it. This, what I've used right there is about, I'd say, almost two weeks worth. Um, it comes with this little thing right here, and you see the little line there? What you do is you take it in here, and you just drag it across here. And I'll show you until that little spot meets that line. That is all it takes to do your face. You can use this as a mix-in. You can use this as a foundation or um, to add into your foundation. You can use it as a primer for your entire face. You can use it for a lip primer, eye primer. Um, you can also use this. What I like to use it is, is my last thing in my skincare. And what I do is I take, look, that little bit on there, which is, it's not much. I mean, it's really, it's about, it's about a pea size, but this stuff is super thick. What I do is just kind of, I still got a spot going on on my cheek. I just kind of take it and pat it mainly around my eyes because it just, it really just helps with, that dryness and really just uneven um, this I have right there and just kind of I like to kind of rub it between my hands and really warm it up first I'm looking in the mirror at the same time here guys sorry because I'm trying not to I'm trying to avoid that spot um, if you have been watching my videos you know I figured out what it was it started out as a mosquito bite right here and uh, my husband actually told me he saw me scratching it in my sleep yeah, you see, it just brings some just life back to your skin. Um, it is supposed to make a barrier between your skin and your makeup, which if you've heard some of my videos, I've talked about how trying different makeups every day and, you know, a couple times a week, I've, I've changed to a few times, dropping this down to a few times a week. And mainly that is because it's just gotten very hard on my skin. <sighs> that said, um, another thing, which I haven't tried it, I'm going to try it today, but I still am going to follow up with my professional just in this area because I just, that area bothers me. This is the Farsali um, Unicorn Essence. You see everybody on Instagram and everything. Sephora had these. I got the oil and I got the essence. Somebody said the oil is worth getting. I'm going to try to mix that in with my foundation today, but we're going to use the essence as a primer. This stuff smells like, it's so pretty too. It smells like a cross between bubble gum and you see it. This is the Instagram thing. Here we go. The, the unicorn tears. Is that not hilarious? I'm like afraid to move my face. Uh, <laughs> I'm silly, I know. It, I did not do the Instagram picture, okay? <laughs> um, but this is, I kind of put some on my hand and just uh, put it on the back of my hand and tried it. It is, it gets very sticky when it, it dries down. But it is supposed to have a, uh, different vitamins I believe in it I forgot what it said um, skin essence antioxidants it's a serum is what it is and I don't have the I don't have the box in front of me but um, apply to clean face before moisturizer which well I did it after <laughs> I'm using it more like a primer you can use it as a um, part of your skincare it smells, I will tell you, incredible. It does have a little bit of stick to it, which is nice for your makeup, but 
you know, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to not use the professional. I'm going to see how that actually helps using those two. I'm going to, oh, the other thing I've got a hold of was the Makeup Revolution, their um, concealer. Now, I have been using this for a few days. You know, I'm not a huge concealer person, but I'm going to use this here. I did use it in touching this area up, and I will tell you, I like this honestly better than the um mm, shape tape the reason why i like it and i'm going to show you is let me get the shape tape it, they both have kind of the same kind of dough applicator i'm, I'm going to put a little thin layer here and i'll show you in a minute why i have drier more mature skin and also, I suffer from dehydration and malnutrition because of my health problems. And let me make it even so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to do it on the back of my hand, you see. I'm just going to kind of pat that in. And I'm going to kind of pat this one in. Give them a few minutes to dry. And you will see, oh, you're going to see right now what I'm talking about, actually. Hmm. I didn't keep anything to wipe my hand on right here. But the shape tape is this one, the pinker one. You see how this is so, oh, let me see if I can, there you go. See how dry, this is so drying and this has a lot of luminosity to it. Where the shape tape is going to be more dry. Now, that may be great for you. The drier formula but for more mature skin you're gonna have those crepey looking eyes as we all know if you've ever tried to bake your under eyes don't do it <laughs> that is the worst thing you can do with aged skin is try to bake your under eyes um baking your under eyes is basically you're pulling all the moisture out of the makeup and out of your skin and what that does to our lovely matured skin that has most of the time problems especially in this under eye area with crepiness is you're gonna you're gonna look terrible you don't want to put something dry there now i'm going to this is the farsali the oil and i'm just going to take you see a little teeny little drop there i'm going to use this like how i use my other oil which i did not do in the bathroom which i usually do and what i do is i just take this and I pat it, literally just pat it into, sorry guys, I'm doing that face, aren't I? That, <laughs> I pat it into the under eye area right here. And the reason why I do that is my skin right here is very dry and very thin. And when I put makeup on there, it just kind of shrinks right up. So also one of the places I like to use my oil is right here along my lip which I use um the herbivore oil which you get a big bottle I think it's like 50 bucks um it is expensive but I have been using that same bottle for eight months now so and it's about halfway I'm going to take about a quarter size amount of my pro glow I have been loving this foundation here let me see about a quarter bit and I'm going to take my oil I've been dying to try this in here I'm going to try try this for solid oil and this is a glowy foundation already but I'm going to take two drops of the Farsali oil in my foundation I have been seeing a lot of people do this and um I mean, I like how this foundation, don't get me wrong, I'm liking how this foundation is working on my skin. But I want to, I always want it to look better, don't you? I'm just going to go ahead and dab a little bit of that on. I like to have a little bit on my face sometimes before I start. And with this having the oil, I had to stir it anyway. So, And I'm going to use my infamous uh, 3D Kabuki. So, <clears throat> I hope you guys have been having a good time, you know, enjoying the videos I've been putting out. Um, 
I really enjoy doing this. And, you know, you don't see people my age doing this. You really don't. I'm not liking this. This thing is not the makeup. My camera is not focusing. I'm actually using my phone right now, if you believe that. The camera on this has been working better. Oh, I don't want to go on to that. This has been working better now on here, I think. I don't know what you guys think. Somebody said my uh, video quality has been a lot better. I don't know if that's the case. Let me know what you think. I think it has. Um, but then again, I'm watching it on my phone with the camera that produced it. So you let me know because you're watching differently. I'm liking this oil in that. It just, you know, Pro Glow has a lot of glow to it anyway. And I'm just feeling like this has a little more. We'll see how it dries down. I always get too much on that brush, I swear. The thing with this brush, and if you ever try these, the thing with them is not getting too much product because you don't want you don't want this soaked. And if you see me reaching over all the time, I have a paper towel here, and all I do is just kind of, and it's on the outside of it is where I don't like a lot of product. And what I do is just wipe the outside, and I'll just barely brush the brushes because I like the, the bristles to be nice and loose. This is a double, you see how it has the darker bristles and then the lighter thin ones. It has a double, I don't know what you call it, like hair pattern? <laughs> I don't know. There's a name for it, but I don't know. But anyway, so I have been trying out with this camera, and I've been liking it. A few of you guys said that um, you did notice a difference. Uh, I've been so busy that I haven't had much time to really go in and watch my videos on my laptop like I usually do. I usually take time to look at them on my laptop. I have just been doing this. I like the oil in this, I'll tell you, but I feel like it's taking away from the coverage. I feel like it's like thinned my coverage out here. I feel like I'm seeing a lot more of my skin through it and a lot more imperfections right here in my eye area. But well, I didn't have let that oil set that I put down, I usually do. But plus I'm using using different primers underneath here you know I'm using that for solid primer I'm you know I'm using a few different things I wanted to try some new products and and kind of just get I know it's not the uh the, the Tasha because I've have been using that for a couple weeks now I just haven't used it on a video yet but see I feel like it pulled away from the maybe not the coverage but I think it is, I don't know if it's me, but maybe it feels like it changed the color a little. It looks a little duller where before it had that pinker tone. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? <laughs> but, and you know where we're going now. I ordered another one of these guys. I am so afraid that, that Becca will discontinue this. This powder is amazing. I love it. I will tell you, I did find out. That that is not a new thing. That water powder is not a new thing. Maybe to Becca it is. Somebody, I forget who it was, left a comment that, oh my gosh, not Physician's Formula. It's, there was another makeup company that did this and discontinued it. Uh, I can't remember what they said. I don't think it was Physician's Formula. but Look at that. I mean, that's just... I wish this showed up on camera as well it does, as it does in person. Because it is just, it's almost like putting water on your face. It's, I feel like almost like I just sprayed water on me. I'm getting too, <laughs> getting low. <laughs> but I ordered another one. Um, I can't tell you honestly how... The value is on this with the next one I will be able to tell you a little more I have kind of went ham on this I spilt some 
and I probably wasted a quarter of this not knowing what to do with it. So that tell you kind of I'm down to the bottom. <laughs> I'm, I'm down lower than I like to be on any product that I actually like. It doesn't take much, though. It really doesn't. Which is good, because I don't like to use a lot of powder on my face. Because it does turn to... It turns real powdery. It dries down. It dries down amazing. But it's so... To me, it just... I feel like my skin never looked this smooth and just kind of flawless. For me, this is like, this is incredible because, it, you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The first time I got this, put this on, I didn't like it. The second time, I didn't like it. The third time, when I finally figured out how to use it, I loved it. I freaking loved it. And I got teary-eyed. I don't get teary-eyed at stuff, guys. Not like that. I'm not like... I'm a very strong... I wouldn't say strong. I'm a very... When it comes to feelings, I'm not real mushy. I'm one of these people that's more... I don't even know how you would say. More... Uh, Oh my gosh, there was something I brought in here I wanted to show you guys, and I can't find it. I'm more, I guess, a more stern type personality. I'm not, like, one to get all teary-eyed, and I don't get, I don't get real emotional like that, you know? I was picked on all my life, and it kind of made me a little harder, I guess you could say than um than I used to be. I guess I guess that's how you could say it. I don't know. This is just the um I've been going a little warmer with my cheeks and uh as far as like bronzer kind of I'm just kind of bronzing and kind of contouring on the same shot I've been using this uh this is the the Park Avenue Princess palette I've been loving it as you can see I've been going ham on Princess Cut is like my favorite I tap into where is it angle this one these two are the ones I really go into. These two are more, this is darker and got more of a shine to it. This is lighter, it's got a shine. And these are more like just highlights and I'm not, I'm not a big highlight person. I just, I never have been. And the reason why is I just, my skin shows way too much texture. You know, and I, that's funny that I say that because I got this new highlighter. This is Gimme Glow Luminous Highlighter. And it's in the color hollow. Here it is. This is it here. And you know, a lot of I see a lot of people talk about Becca highlights. Let me see if I can can you see that? It's kind of white and then goes into bluish and then into gold and there's the bluey purple. It's so pretty. But look at this. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! And the clouds open up and the angels sing. But now, if I put that on my cheek, you're going to see it, one, for days, and you're going to see my wrinkles for days. So I take a very small, like, uh, this is really like a shadow brush, and just a very small amount, and I go right here. Now, I'm going to show you. I have texture all the way into here. So, what I do is I come right here. And tap, that is way too much glow for me, girls. <laughs> there we go. It's not doing how I want. There we go. It's, it's so difficult to... I come under my texture right here. And what I'm doing, see, I'm still highlighting, but I'm going more here and then blending like that. So what I'm getting is 
a very, I'm getting a light highlight. I mean, you can even go, if you want more highlight, you can go in like this. If you have the same kind of texture. See where I've got more. And you can even kind of, I like to take my finger even, go like that. There you go. But see how I've went under that texture there? Because if I go across here, girls, you are going to, you're going to see every wrinkle in my face. And I don't like that. I use it more, I guess, more like a, almost a blush topper where I'm going with it. Now, everywhere else I do it the same. It's just right on that cheek. I don't like to look that textured. But one of the things I like with this is I get right here. Now, everybody says with hooded eyes, you don't want to go glittery and this and that. But I have taken this and put it across the lid like this. Hold on, let me show you. And it, I think it looks pretty. I think it actually accentuates my lid. It, see how it makes it look like I have a lid. I do, one of my other favorite things is to do is I take, um, I think it's called Give Me Pink. I think is the name of the color. It is by Marc Jacobs. Let me get that even there. And all I'm doing is just kind of rolling my finger over my lid like that. And it just gives you, it gives you a little pop, but you want to make sure not to let, you know, get a lot of fallout because you'll accentuate all the texture here. Um, one of the other things I like to do, this has been like one of my favorite things to do, and I can actually still do it with this. This is Marc Jacobs Pink of Me, it's, it's called. I love theirs. I love his because it's retractable. This you, is great for your waterline, but what I like to do is I go right across the top. When I'm not doing a super, super eye look, give this one. I think that just gives like kind of a cute look. You can even come in here and tap. You just want to lightly tap that onto, onto the line right there. You can put this also in your waterline, but... If you have been watching me for any length of time, you know where I'm going. Oh gosh, I think I just dropped it. I did. No, nope, that's the wrong one. What is the color? I am looking for Sumatra from uh, you can't see from Smashbox, and here it is. It is that brown color that I always go to. This gives my this just gives my eyes that pop of green that I like when I go with this brown. And you never have to sharpen these because you just click it, twist it, click it, and it shows up. And I like to take that and just go into my waterline. Being careful not to yank my eye down. You know, I've seen people do this with brushes and sponges. And I, I don't like sticking things that close to my eye. And I just roll that lid out. And a little trick I like to do is I like to tap right in that corner. Here we go. I know, I always go so dark around my eyes. I have some of you guys that tell me that all the time. That I go very dark around my eyes, and I do. This top thing I've been doing is is kind of, that's my, that's my lightning you get to my eyes. I think that is so pretty, though. It Now, it I have hooded eyes, and that's going to blend down a little bit. The two colors will kind of mesh together and kind of mellow out. Um... I don't think they're still on sale, but uh, ColourPop had their lip liners, buy one, get one free. And if you buy ColourPop lip liners, you know that they are already, I think they're six bucks already. So when you get them, buy one, get one free, it's just awesome. And my favorite color has been... Oh, uh, where is it? I'll know it when I see it. Huh. Is this a, wait, where's the color? I can't find the color. This must 
This one doesn't have a color. 925? No, that's not. What is it called? Oh, Snap. That's the name of it. Oh, Snap. Here it is. Oh, Snap has been my favorite color. And it is kind of a... It's like a perfect kind of nude for me. I got on this kick with lip liners probably six, eight months ago. Because one, you save money to get two items with one because you can do your whole lip with a liner. Especially these ColourPop ones because they're so soft. And they last. I think these last so much longer than some of the liquid liners I was using, but I love that color. It is so pretty. But I kind of went crazy and I bought about 12 of them. I picked out like some of the prettiest colors. Get an idea. These are some of the colors that they do. And uh, get the other ones. I need a, I have a special color pop drawer because I, I am going to have every one of those. This is like almost all of them. I think it's like three quarters of them. But those are the colors I got. You see the, uh, if you know me and you've been watching my videos, you know I have a problem with this color right here. <laughs> the pinky nudes. But I did go a little out of my comfort zone with, you know, kind of fluctuating in there. Kind of went pinker, kind of tanner. A few of these are like, like these are almost the same. These two, they're very, very, these are all very close in color. But these I went kind of, this is way out of my comfort zone. That red, if you know me, I don't do red. I'm trying, you know, I don't think it looks good on me. I don't know why. I just, I, probably if I went with like a bluer red, I have... And, and matter of fact, I have that lip stunner around here somewhere. I bought me one, and I've never even worn it. Can you believe that? Never worn it. Okay, now, a couple of new items that I picked up that I wanted to share with you. One of them I'm missing at the moment because I've been, I've been using it a lot, and I can't find it. Don't you love when you misplace something? It is, anywho, the... The Smashbox, oh, I put it down here so I lose it. The Smashbox Primer Waters. Now, this I got in, this is the citrus one and this is the green, something greens. This is back in the box because I think it stinks. I, I don't like the smell. It's supposed to be a, co a melon, uh, cucumber melon. I don't, I, I don't know. It's, it's not something I like. This is the Citrus It's Okay. Um, the formula. I think it's the same. I don't get, I don't get Citrus. I just, I really don't, to be honest with you. And I'm going to keep this one only because it's, I think they're the same price as the other ones. I don't remember. But Nicole Concilio. Now, if you watch her, you guys know what she looks like in her videos. That does not look like Nicole Concilio. Wait, let me. There we go. Let's hold you up to the camera. Does that look like Nicole Concilio to you? And it's not just my camera. Just so you know, she is that blurred on there. Let me see if I can get it to kind of. Here we go. She's that blurred on there. It's, it's, they got her in like the sun or something, the sun shining on her, but that doesn't look like Nicole Concilio. And one thing, look, what is with the look on the face? The other one has the same picture. The other one has the exact same picture. I think it's terrible. Now, it says co-created with YouTuber Nicole Concilio uh... Is her name anywhere else? No. Is it 
anything special. No. I'm not even... I don't get the smell additive, to be honest with you. It smells basically like primer water to me. Where's my other primer water? I actually... Let me see. I, while I got that smell in my... I don't smell any difference. They smell the same to me. And I would honestly rather have the clear. Just because I don't know... I don't know. It's just me. I don't want to spray green or yellow stuff on my face, really. But, uh, this now, if, if you want to design a, a primer water, do something different. Don't put a smell in it. You know, cover effects, these, these highlighting, uh, these illuminating sprays that have been coming out. I like color effects because they have like tiny, tiny, let me not get it in my mouth. I love the mist to this, and I love how, well, that's the highlight, but let me, let me spread it across my forehead so you can kind of see. See, it just gives that, just gives like a glow back to your skin. It, it kind of takes away from that powdery flat look and just makes you look alive again. That's how I feel about it. Now, <clears throat> what are some of the, one of the other things that came out. Now, I'm on the fence with this, guys. Don't laugh. You guys know I got the Too Faced Rainbow Highlighter. Um, I did that in one of the last videos. Talked about that versus the original um, Bitter Lace Beauty one. Which I am all for this one. I'm not. This is not really... I feel like I'm using kids' makeup. I'm sorry. I just, I feel like I'm wearing, it's cute. I mean, that's the, if you haven't seen the packaging, that's the packaging. It's got the glittery. It's, you know, the iridescent, like the, uh, the rainbow, uh, the unicorn gloss that they did. The palette they came out with, this is it. This reminds me, it's that spongy, if you've ever had a baby. You know those toys that you, those educational toys that are made out of the, like, vinyl and they're squishy? They're like, that, that reminds me, it just reminds me of that. Um, <clears throat> now, this reminds me of something you get in Claire's. I mean, does this not, if you didn't see that, would you not think I, I totally went to Claire's and bought something? It's not bad. It's not anything new. Is it colors? I feel like they've, this is the, that white color that's in there. Now you saw the other one I just showed. It's nothing like that. I mean, it's pretty. Then you've got the, uh, this color. This is called Mystic Rain. You've got that one. See, it's right down there. It's just kind of, to me, these are more kind of, most of them are toppers. You've got that one. Let me, uh. What is this? This is fireflies. This is like a green gold. I mean, they're just you. You get you get this one, which is desert vibes. That is your that is your mat right there. Desert vibes. Um, let me wipe this off. Uh, rainbow light. This is this one. I think that's another. See, it's another shiny one. <laughs> I'm out of fingers. Um, let me wipe the, well, that one's okay. Uh, this is euphoric. I know you can't tell a whole lot from swatches. That's euphoric right there. You see how powdery that was very powdery. That is pretty though, but I just don't, what else? I mean, you got fun in the sun, sunset desert. Here's a, this is another mat. You get one, you get two mats with this pink one and this tan one here. And the rest are very like high glittery artist pass. Let me see. Let me put these over here. Fine, here. Let's put them right here. There you go. I mean, they're all real. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to get that one down there, but 
That's what you get. <laughs> I mean, they're so glittery. This is just... That is so glittery, I think. That's just... Do I like glittery colors? Yes. Am I going to wear them all the time? No. Um, has Too Faced done this before? Yes. Um, Too Faced palettes to me have always been kind of... I use them more like daily palettes. I don't use them really for like glammy kind of looks. And if I do, it's mainly for the, the glittery color. I mean, just to, just to pull out another Too Faced product, this here. This is the, uh, the Too Faced, the one that came in the, uh, the calendar. It came in the planner book. I mean, same thing. Glittery, glittery colors. This one is so close to that other one I showed you. That is, you know, this looks like the, uh, what was it, Sunset Vibes or Sunshine Vibes right there. I'm Actually, let's pull that one right next to it. That looks just very, very close to, oh, it was euphoric. Euphoric looked more like that. Let's pull, I don't want to break these. Let me put these down. That is that one. And then this is Euphoric right next to it. They are so close. I mean, it's... Let me see if I can pull the purpley one. That shiny purple, which this was... Oh, it was Mystic Rain. It's very close to... Is it that one? No, that wasn't it. It was... Oh, here. Oh. Well, the pigment's not all that great. <laughs> Very close. Uh, it's just... You see what I'm talking about? It just looks like... I don't see... I don't see that much difference, do you? I mean, it seems like so many of these are the same. And this is... I'm just pulling two palettes of theirs. We could pull out... I've probably got ten Too Faced palettes. I love Too Faced. Don't get me wrong. I think they're very, um, they're very original with their packaging. They're very cutesy, kind of. But, it's, is it getting played out? I think so. I really think it's starting to get played out. Um, they are reformulating a bunch of their stuff. One of the things is they're pulling... If you notice, they did the 70% off sale on a bunch of their stuff. And do I have one of those palettes right here? I don't think I do. They're redoing some of the, like, those cardboardy type palettes that they did. One was called Kitten Eyes. I don't have it right here. They are those little tiny cardboard type. Sorry, guys. I'm leaning half off camera here. I'm trying to find you one. I can't find it right now. But what they're trying to do, they're just trying to make them more adult and more, you know, something you would like, I guess. Too Faced is cute. Now, you want to talk about a company that's very different? Matter of fact, I don't have any blush on, so let's try it. This pretty vulgar, this is so freaking cool. That is to me, I, I just, I love like Victorian looking things. It's a very pretty pink, too. That is a very hot pink. Now, we know. I always I always do my blush from this way. People say to brush up because it, it takes away. But I don't like a lot of blush down. So I kind of dab it and then kind of blush it. That's pretty. It's, it's very pretty. I have more over here than I do over here. I hate when I do that. God, you can tell. One day I'm going to show you my 80s, I swear. I'm going to do my 80s makeup look. You guys are going to laugh. Because you want to talk about dark eyes. My eyes would look like this. <laughs> and my cheeks would stick out like this. Right. Oh, um, I don't think I talked to you guys about these either. Juno and Co. Um, does these makeup brushes, and I, I think I showed you guys when these first came in, but I didn't really, 
I didn't really sh talk about them too much. What I was trying to do is honestly find a more economical version of this. This is um, this is Marc Jacobs, his uh, bronzer brush, which, oh my God, I, I, this is like, a, it falls on my face. But I saw this powder brush and I thought, wow, look at that. I mean, it's a little bigger. Don't get me. I mean, you can clearly see. Here, let me. Here we go. How much bigger that is. But now, soft wise, it. I'm loving these. I've been using them a lot. You saw me just use. Um, I like using this. This is more like a contour brush, but I like using this for the cheeks. But you get actually. I think they call that. No, I did get two. ESO5, I got two of those. And then this is the ESO2. This is the, um, yeah, this is the powder brush. This is their bronzer brush. And then this is the um, contour. And um, these are really economical. They didn't have the set when I bought these, but I think they were only, I think they were like eight bucks a piece or something crazy. Um, you can find them on Juno and Co. Juno and Co. And um, it's a really good company. I like their stuff. I've not heard anything bad about it yet, so stay tuned. We might hear something. I don't know. Um, I have heard everybody's talking bad about the Natasha palette. Honestly, which I can't get to it now. I have the funniest thing. I have a Natasha Denona Lila palette. This is a Natasha Denona Lila palette. Now, you guys hear everybody talk about dupes and copies and this and that. I, now, this is a Natasha Denona palette. I'm going to show you the two of these. Let's see if you guys can figure out, top or bottom, which one's real. Can you tell which palette is real? I'm not going to swatch them because then you would know. You'll instantly know. But can you believe that? I mean, that's pretty pretty darn close. Let's turn them this way. I don't want to. I mean, even look, even the outside are a little different color, but it's still the front still says Natasha Denona Lila palette, and then you've got Natasha Denona. Now the outside, I can tell immediately. I can tell. Because, see how shiny this is? And this one is not. This is the real one. The real one is shiny. If you guys get a hold of these, that you can tell. And like this, it got bumped. This does not bend that easy. This is thicker material here in between. And it's like uh, vinyl, kind of vinyl stuff here. Where this one is cardboard just paper that's why it bent so easy it actually bent in shipping it didn't break I'm surprised but I mean I use it don't get me wrong it's pretty the colors are same but different um the purple is way different though this it's blue in the fake one it's like a that is the fake one and that is the real one this is fake this is real but I mean, really, that's not, it's not that different. I mean, color wise, yes, but the formulas aren't that bad. Actually, the real one's looking a little chalkier right there. But see, I mean, and I paid, like, see, this is pink where it's bronze in here. See, those two colors are supposed to be the same. Like those two, then you go to the second row. So you see the difference. They are, they are, the colors are different. But, um, formula wise, I don't think it's that bad to be honest with you. I don't like to buy a lot of fakes though. Um, I don't keep this in my like main makeup drawer. I don't keep any of, I have a couple of fake palettes that I got like before I really got into makeup. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. 
had something in my mouth, sorry. But um, I, I still use it. I paid $129 for this one. I paid $14.99 for the other one. It is a way to get kind of the same. If you like totally want the same look, I mean, you can come to a darn close look with these. They're all the colors in the fake palette are off about that much. But is it pretty? I love this color. This this light purple, I use it a lot. <laughs> anyway, don't want to sit here forever. We've been on here forever. But it's been great talking to you guys, as usual. I will see you guys soon. Um, I'm starting to do all my videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This week I had one Wednesday instead of Tuesday because we were under tornado watches here. And I came in here to film and we had we had like quarter size hail and it was hitting my window and I was freaking out. So I was like, cut it off. I'll do another video later. But I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye.